Hey guys, how's it going? Peace, peace for everyone. What's up? How you doing? All right, uh, all right. So, anyways, five days ago, I decided to do a 1,000 calorie diet challenge, and let me tell you, that challenge was the hardest challenge I've ever done in my life. At least it is for a guy like me. I used to intake like over 3,000 calories in a day. Uh, not too long ago, just this Christmas, I ate like 5,000 calories and I used to be freaking fat, dude. But anyways, over these past three days, I've developed some skills, some knowledge that has helped me with my dieting. And I just woke up today and I was like, holy shit. Maybe some people are having the same problem I was having like two days ago, right? So I have decided that I'm just going to give you guys three of the main tips that have helped me diet like throughout these past few days. And at the end, I'm even going to throw in a bonus tip. So four tips. And yeah, I just hope this is helpful for you. And all right, let's jump right in. All right, so tip number one. All you have to do is whenever you eat anything, just make sure it has fat protein and uh, fiber yes because every time I eat fat protein and fiber like I feel like you have to like chew that uh, chew on it a lot more and I feel like you have to use more bite power and I feel like it gives you a shit ton more energy than like say some gay ass salad so even though it's like the same calories say 400 calories of like steak or chicken or something I feel like it gives you way more energy and fills you up more than 400 calories of salad. And don't get me wrong, I love salad, but like when you're on a 1000 calorie diet, you just have to make sure you track every single calorie. And I want to make every single calorie just to keep me going, you know, just make it count is what I'm trying to say. And if you're one of those people that every time you eat something, you also have to wash it down with something else then I recommend you just either drink regular water or I recommend you go to your liquor store or 7-Eleven or something and buy some carbonated water. God, that's so hard to say. And what this does for you, it's juice and like milk and all this other stuff. It's got like 200 calories in it and I just find that those 200 calories aren't worth it. I'd rather just drink water and get zero calories right all right so moving on to tip number two it's so easy and so so simple like you could just forget about this tip but it's so powerful as well so make sure you use it all right so all it is is brush your teeth that's it brush your teeth Bru oh crap that was gay oh <gasps> after every single meal you eat I recommend you brush your teeth and what this does for you is it makes it so that you won't after you eat that big meal I find that a lot of times I'm, I'm just like oh now I ate this but I also want those cookies and since I got those cookies I'll just have some chips and maybe I'll have a banana while I'm at it like you just keep going and going and going and you just eat like 500 more calories is it's gonna make it so that you're like oh my mouth is so fresh I don't want to eat anything else because I don't want to take my freshness away from my mouth So you're not gonna eat anything else because you don't want to like take away the freshness, right? So yeah, it's just gonna save you a lot a lot a lot and It's just gonna make you feel nicer every time I brush my teeth and I breathe in like fresh mint I feel I just feel so much nicer and so much refreshed and if you don't feel like brushing your teeth, then just buy some gum, dude. But the thing about gum is, I feel like brushing your teeth takes a lot more energy than just popping in a piece of gum. So you're gonna value brushing your teeth a lot more. And also gum, like the some flavors quickly go away. So I recommend you just brush your teeth, man. But if for some reason you don't have time, then yeah, just pop in a gum. So my third tip is for like the messy people like me that if you walk by your kitchen, you see cookies, bananas, watermelons, apples, bana like everything. You see all everything and you're just like, fuck, I hate my life. I want to eat these cookies so bad, but I can't because I'm on a diet. 
So what I did is I just grabbed everything and I threw it like all the way as far back in the cabinet as possible. So now my kitchen is a lot cleaner and now I'm also not gonna walk by and feel like I'm missing out on stuff I could be eating. I'm just gonna walk by and it's gonna be normal, it's gonna be clean. And yeah, so you're not gonna be like crying, right? Cause you're missing out on all this great food around you. All right, so my last tip number four is if you accidentally go over your calories, it's okay, man. You know why? Because just go walking off. That's it, walking off. Walk, all right? I found that walking one mile takes about 100 calories. And the average person, I think, can walk between like three and four miles in an hour. So that's like 400 calories burned in one hour. And like the thing about walking is it doesn't burn off your muscle tissue like running does. So it's like super beneficial. And I just feel like walking takes so much stress out of you and like it just makes everything feel nicer and fresher. Just like brushing your teeth almost. And you're doing that while you're losing calories, right? And who knows, you might meet some hot girl and you might marry her, have kids and you might live a great life. You never know. And yeah, while I walk, I also like listening to some podcast. So I'll be getting knowledge while walking and burning off calories. So that's like a triple win-win for me. And yeah, just, it's great. I love this. I love all of these tips. So yeah, that's all my tips, guys. If you use these tips, like I said, they're gonna save you a shit ton of times. And like, it's just gonna make dieting so much easier and funner for you. And yeah, if you use these tips, I'm sure that they're gonna help you out a shit ton. If you do, tell me how it goes down in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like. If not, leave a dislike. And also tell me why in the comments so I could like improve and make these videos better. And if you just have any comments, just leave them down in the comments too, I guess. But anyways, click subscribe somewhere around here. It's probably like over there or here or here or here. I don't know. It's a giant red button that says subscribe. I recommend you click it. And yeah, that's all for now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. And peace out. Hey, you're in my garage. Just got this new Lamborghini here. It's fun to drive in the Hollywood Hills. But you know what's more fun to drive in the Hollywood Hills than my new Lamborghini here? My channel. That's why I recommend you subscribe to it. But you know what's more fun than subscribing to my channel? Riding Shrek's D.